What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcade video. On this one today, I'm going to show you how to enable Blood Mode on MAM Arcade for the PC. Boom shakalaka! Now, I've done this video for the HyperPie um, version. Uh, Yuji noticed that in my last video I was playing Metal Slug and the Blood Mode wasn't on, so I said, hey, you know what? Perfect opportunity to make a quick video on how you could enable blood mode on any MAM uh, version for the PC. So, uh, basically, you know, there's really, I think it's six of them. Yeah, there's Metal Slug 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's even the Metal Slug X on it. Uh, the same tutorial applies for all of them. I already have it enabled. Um, so what I could do real quick is I'll launch into the game just to show you what it looks like. Um, so some people might not understand what exactly it is. Um, basically, blood mode. On the original arcade cab, there was no blood, so when you actually shot somebody, um, it would just be white. Now, as you can see, there is a red um, splurt of blood that pops out instead of white. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'll show you real quick how you do that. You do need a keyboard and mouse handy. You're going to press the tab key in game. This has to be done in the game. And you're going to go to dip switches. You press enter on the dip switch, and you're going to go to setting mode and press on. When you do that, you will have to reset real quick. So just press the reset. Let it go through its thing. And basically, it goes by itself. It goes into the, to the settings menu. So using um, the keyboard, or actually you should use the arcade sticks because it is now looking for the buttons that you have mapped for A, B, C, and D. So using the joystick to go up and down, you're going to go to soft dip. You're going to press button 1 or button A as far as Neo Geo. Bring it down to slot 1. And then bring it down to blood mode. Press A again. So A turns it on and off. So I'll turn it off for now. And then we're going to reboot. To bring it back on my arcade stick, it's button 3, which should be the C button for yours. So bring it back on C. And you will have to exit. Be sure to press exit. As you see right now, it says dip switch one. Turn it off is what it's saying. So we have to go back to pressing tab. Go to dip switch. And turn the setting mode off. And that's really it. You could choose to reset. It's always good to kind of do a quick reset. It doesn't hurt to reset. And basically right now, on mine, it's off. On yours, it should be on. But just to show you the difference real quick, as far as blood mode on and off, as you can see there, instead of red, it's kind of like a little white splurt instead of the red splurt. So, again, you do that for all versions of Metal Slug. I'll do it real quick. It's super easy, real quick. I'm going to press tab, go down to dip switches. I'm going to go to service mode, and I'm going to go to reset. You will have to press the reset. Uh, in HyperPie, you had to hold down player one start, but with this, the dip switch, you just let it go. Using the arcade stick, again, it's looking for buttons A and C. Button A to enter, so down on the joystick, go to soft dip, A to enter, go to metal slug, bring it down, go to blood, and press A. Button C to bring it back, button C to bring it back, and exit. It's telling you to turn off dip switch 1, you press tab on the keyboard, dip switch, we're going to go to off, and that's really it. Press tab again. You should reset, honestly. And now, basically, my game will look like yours. It should have blood mode enabled. Unfortunately, it's not a universal thing. So you will have to go to each Metal Slug ROM and fix it accordingly. So once you're done with that, you exit out. I'm going to bring it down and I'll go to Metal Slug 2. Again, I already have it enabled. Loading you won't. Complete. I'll real quickly show you. We're going to do the same steps. You're going to press tab. You're going to go down to dip switches. You're going to go down to setting mode and turn it on. And you're going to give it a reset. Press enter on reset. Again, I'm using the keyboard right now. It should bring us into that menu. Yep. Using the arcade sticks, going to go down. Press letter A, button A, I should say. Go to Metal Slug 2, button A. And then bring it down to blood. If you don't see blood on the first screen, you might have to go to next page. And it will most likely be here. I know like Metal Slug X, it was on the second page. Once you have it set, you go back with C, go back with C, 
and be sure to hit exit. You have to press exit or else it won't save. Press tab, dip switches, settings to off, and there you go. It resets on its own. You should do a reset, but as you can see, it did it. You put in your coins, you start up your game. Choose our character real quick. And blood mode is there, as you can see. Alright guys, so since we're on the subject of Metal Slug, this is another real quick thing I say that you should definitely do, and that is to overclock the CPU when it comes to Metal Slug inside of MAM Arcade. Uh, I'm going to launch the first Metal Slug. Um, basically, um, in Metal Slug, and it's even on the original hardware, on the original arcade cabinet, anytime there's like a bunch of enemies and like the helicopter and a lot of stuff happening on the screen you'll basically this you'll basically see the game slow down like brutally slow down um i'm not too sure if i'm gonna be able to do it i mean i've definitely seen it inside of the, the helicopter mission but you'll basically see like the screen just brutally just slows down it, it's it's just god awful um i mean it's playable but luckily with pc emulation we are able to basically make that work better um, I'm right now playing with one hand. <laughs> uh, again, I usually do notice it when it comes to the helicopter here. Um, if I had the other gun, that would have been great. Not that fire shot one. Oh, got shot. Basically, you do see a, uh, it's like a slowdown. You see a big stutter going on and stuff whenever there's a lot of stuff. Okay. That's really it. Um, so, you will have to do one thing instead of MAM, I and I. Um, it's very simple. Uh, let's do that first, I guess, real quick. So we're going to exit out. Exit out. We're going to bring it back to the main menu. Um, I'm not too sure how you guys have your um, MAM set up. But you do want to go to the folder where your MAM emulator is, the emulator itself. And in that folder, it, I mean, it's not going to look exactly like mine, but there should be an INI file. Double click on the INI file, and you're going to find this, the MAM, M-A-M-E. Basically, you double click on that, and the easiest thing right now is to take your keyboard and hold control and press F, and we're going to want to look for the search function. You're literally going to put inside the bar cheat and press enter. You see here cheat path that's highlighted. We don't want that. We need to go next, next. We need to find this right here. See this core miscellaneous options? Cheat, yours might say zero. You just got to change it literally to a one. So take out the zero, put a one, and that's all you have to do. Make sure you press save. So file, save, and exit out. That's it. Basically, now you enabled cheats uh, for MAM. It's entirely inside of MAM now. Now the big thing is to fix the game itself. So I'm going to go back into hyperspin. Again, you have to do the I and I thing. You must do it. I'm going to go back into my arcade wheel. We're going to go into Metal Slug. We were doing Metal Slug 1. Loading complete. And now basically we need to press tab, bring up this menu, and we're going to go down to slider controls. With slider controls now we have, ever since we enabled cheats, we have these two right here. Don't touch the audio. You're going to take your main CPU holding the right arrow key. You're going to bring that to 200. Now the hard thing is don't press escape or else it will exit the emulator. So you don't want to do that. Bring that to 200. And then you're going to just press return to previous menu, enter, and then tab to drop it. Now, Metal Slug will run basically without any stutters or hiccups whatsoever. Don't go over 200. Um, just don't do it. Save yourself that. So, again, even now with me playing it like this, I, I mean, I didn't see too much stutter before, but I do know like on like the Raspberry Pi one, you definitely see that stutter. So let me try to get this gun real quick. I'm gonna I'm gonna try this one-handed. <laughs> and as you can see, there's not really much stutter. Again, even with me before, there wasn't. But definitely, it's something that you definitely want to do when it comes to Metal Slug. We're done here. I'm gonna exit out. I have to do it real quick for all Metal Slugs, so we'll do it together, just so you could breeze right through it. We load up the second one. I'm going to press tab, I'm going to go to slider controls, I'm going to go down to overclock CPU, and we're going to go to 200. If you do not see this overclock CPU option, 
That means your MAM INI file didn't change. That cheat one, it didn't take it. Go back and just press put the number one instead of zero and be sure to save. You must save. And that's it. I can really go here. Always do return to menu and then tab out. And that's really it. Must haves for Metal Slug.